with three days between the division series and championship series, how, how nice is it to have that break? Yeah, you know, we, we've got some guys that are definitely um, healing some stuff up and, and you know, it's it's October. And so, um, you know, it's always nice to to get that time. I think the uh, part that you have to be careful with is is with that time off, it is not letting that little break, um, you know, kind of create like this sense of relaxation, you know. Um, and so trying to make sure that you're still getting, um, you know, your reps and, and seeing, you know, high velocity um, stuff in the cage and, um, you know, if guys need to go see bullpens or whatever, but kind of just keeping the rust off, I think is, is the biggest thing because we've been able to, um, you know, play high intensity games, you know, all the way to this point and not get too many days off in between for that. Um, so, you know, it's definitely awesome to get the time and, and great for the, for, you know, the injury side of things. Um, but we also need to make sure that we're staying mentally focused and that we're, you know, trying to treat these reps like game reps and trying to, you know, keep the, the reaction times and all that as, as quick as possible so that, you know, we can hop right into game one and, and not miss a beat. I know you know that the Yankees clinched yesterday. Just yep. being in this environment in New York, have you noticed noticed a shift in the vibe or just the reactions that people have, you know, approached you with? And what's that been like? Yeah, no, I mean, I think um I think it's amazing that we have, you know, two uh New York teams left, you know, it will in what will be the the last four. Um, you know, New York has, has always seemed like a baseball town to me. And so uh, I, the vibe that's going around here right now is, is unbelievable um, and definitely feeling, you know, the, the high that the city is on. Um, you know, haven't had too much time to, to go into the city and, and enjoy it. Um, we've been, you know, busy playing and, uh, you know, getting back and recovering and everything. But um, just from what from what I see and what I hear, I mean, the city is is loving this, and um, you know, we we just couldn't be happier that that our fan base is enjoying this, and um, you know, it's well deserved, and uh, you know, we we just we we think that our our fan base is the best, and 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 so we you know are are just ecstatic and, and glad they're enjoying this with us. Just generally speaking, this is the furthest you've personally ever gone in the playoffs. So it- what is it like to kind of be at this point, one of the final four teams standing? It's been amazing. These are like a dream come true as a kid. You saw, I saw a lot of World Series, a lot of playoff games. And one day I said, I want to be, I want to be in those games. So now I had the chance to be in the final four. Like, like you say, I, and it's, it's really amazing. Can't wait to start and try to advance to the World Series. For you, you walked five guys in, uh, in three appearances in the last rounds, uh, two batters the other night. Just what went into that and, and what are you doing to maybe try and improve that control and fix it? I think I was trying to be perfect. I think I'm a, I'm a guy who uh, attack the, the hitters, don't try to hit the spots. I just, I got a, a good fast, but good slider. So my mentality to this series is go, go after the hitters. I like try to command my fastball right in the middle of, of miss up and throw my side down in the sun. What does it mean that Carlos Mendoza has continued to stick with you even when you've had some bad innings? You know, he, he gives you another inning the next night. What does that kind of mean to you? Well, it means a lot because I'm a, I'm a guy who who can flush everything like to, as quick, you know, and I know if I have a bad outing, I know what I, what I did bad so, and as soon as I, I, I done my, my outing or whatever. And every time when he gave me the chance to go back and and perform the way they want to, like 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 the like last game in Philly when I I, I give up the three runs, you know, he, he throws in me and give me the ball La, last game here at home, you know, to get the save to to pass to the other round, and that's something is big because he throws in in everyone here, he throws me, and that's something we, as a player we, we would like to see from him.